Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we are going to solve this exponential and logarithmic equation and eventually we're going to check our answer for any extraneous solution. So before we get started we want to make things a little bit easy. I want you to look at this part over here in this problem. I want you to just write it down somewhere. We want to simplify this part. So 49, I can write 49 power. Then you have a log of x minus 1 with the base 7. Now I want you to look at 49. 49 could be written as 7 power 2. And then still we have log of x minus 1 with the base 7. As you can see we have two exponent. This is a one exponent and this is another one. So now we will be using this fact if you have x power m and then you have another exponent and then you can multiply out these two exponents. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put down 7 power. I'm going to multiply these two exponents. I can write 2 times log of x minus 1 with the base 7. So now the next effect that we will be using is this thing. If you have a log of x and then you have an exponent m. So this is can be written as you can see that this m you can move it to the to the top as an exponent. So that means this 2 over here this could be written over here as, as an exponent. So you have to be real really careful over here. So I can write this whole thing as 7 power log of x minus 1 and this 2 becomes an exponent and still we have a base 7. So we converted this 49 power this whole blah 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 as this one. So let's go ahead and replace it. So I can write 7 power log of x minus 1 power 2 with the base 7 minus let's go ahead and just put it down as it is 5 power log of 3x with a base 5 and finally plus 10 power log of 5 and this is by the way common log there's a no base means by default it is 10 equal to 0. And now we will be using this very crucial kind of fact. This states that if you have a b and it has an exponent as a log of x with a base b, then what happens is you can simply cross this log of log with the base b and this base b so simply you end up with x over here see these two are gone we're going to be applying the same rule over here that means this log with the base b and this base 7 this one are gone likewise this and this they undo each other likewise this and this they undo each other so we ended up with simply this part over here this over here this is going to be over here and this is what is going to be over here so that's what i'm going to write down i'm going to write down x minus one square minus three x plus five equal to zero so far so good let's go ahead and take care of x minus one square that is can be written as x square minus 2x plus 1 and then we have a minus 3x plus 5 equal to 0. And if you are wondering how I got x squared minus 2x plus 1, here is the detail, the reason why I did this thing. I used a FOIL method 
and you multiply it out and you got x squared minus 2x plus 1 right up here. Let's combine the like terms. So I can write x squared, negative 2x and negative 3x makes negative 5x, 1 plus 5 makes 6 equal to 0 which is a quadratic equation and that can be simply factored out. The possible factor is going to be x minus 2 and x minus 3 equal to 0. Let's split them up. x minus 2 equal to 0 and x minus 3 equal to 0. That means x equal to 2 is one of our solution and x equal to 3 is another one. And now we want to check our answer for extraneous solution. So right now, first we're going to check x equal to 2. That means wherever you see x, replace it by 2. So in the next step, what I did is I replaced x by 2. So this is what we got, log of 2 minus 1, here 3 times 2. And in the next step, I simplified it. That becomes 49 power log of 1 with the base 7 minus 5 power log of 6 with the base 5 and plus 10 power log of 5 with the base 10 equal to 0. And let's recall this part. Log of 1, log of 1 with this, according to this fact, is always 0. So this part is 0. So, when, so we ended up with what? 49 power 0 minus 5 log of 6 with the base 5 plus 10 power log of 5 with the base 10 equal to 0. And now we will be using this fact on the left hand side. That means this base B and log with the base B, they undo each other. Simply we ended up with simply x. We're going to do the same thing. This 5 and log with the base 5, they undo each other. This 10, base 10 and log 10 with the base 10, they undo each other. So we ended up with this one over here, simply this part. 6 over here and 5 over here. And one more thing, 49 power 0 is always 1. And then this simply become minus 6 plus 5 equal to 0. If you simplify them, left hand side is 0 and the right hand side is 0 as well. My question is, is this statement true? Yes, indeed, this statement is true. So that means that x equals to 2 is indeed our solution. And finally, we're going to check our other solution, x equal to 3, for any extraneous issues. So wherever you see x, replace it by 3. And here I replaced x by 3. And that's what I just, you can see that thing. Eventually, I ended up with 49 power log of 2 with a base of 7 minus 5 log of 9 with a base 5 plus 10 power log of 5 with the base 10 equals to 0. So before we go any further, I want you to focus on this part as well. I want to write it down on this side. 49 power log of 2 with the base 7. And here I completed some steps. What I did is 49 could be written as 7 power 2 and this exponent is same right up here, isn't it? And now we use this, uh, when you have a two exponents, this is a one exponent and this another one, you multiply them out, this times this one, that's what I did. And now the other one is, the rule is whenever you have a, this two number outside, you can write it as an exponent. That's what I did over here. I put down 2 power 2 and 2 power 2 turns out to be 4. So simply we ended up with 7 power log of 4 with the base 7 
minus 5 power log of 9 with a base 5 plus 10 log of 5 with a base 10 equal to 0. And finally we're going to use this fact that means if you have a base b this one this base b and log with a base b they undo each other we're going to do this one this undo this one this undo this one and this undo this one so we simply ended up with 4 9 and 5 on the left hand side so let me write it down 4 minus 5, 4 minus 9 rather, isn't it? This is 9 plus 5 equal to 0. As you can see right now, 4 minus 9 plus 5 gives you 0 on the left hand side and 0 on the right hand. Now my question is, is this statement is true? Yes, this statement is indeed true true. Thus, x equal to 3 is indeed our solution. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.